ഹായ് വെരി നൈസ് ഈവനിങ് ടു ഓൾ ഓഫ് യു അക്ടോബർ മന്ത് ഹാക്കത്തോൺ മൈ ബുക്ക് റിവ്യൂ നമ്പർ ട്വൻറ്റി ഫോർ ഈസ് അഗെയിൻ ഫ്രം ദ സ്പിരിച്വാലിറ്റി ദ നെയിം ഓഫ് ദ ബുക്ക് ഈസ് മിസ് ഡിറക്ടർ ലവ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് റിട്ടൺ ബൈ രാധേശ്യാം ദാസ് Let me ask you, do you know the meaning of love? What is love? What exactly is it? Love is an emotion that promises to bring the highest happiness but often brings the greatest pain. That is love. So, one out of every three love marriages in the west reach out in divorce after three years or four years like that what is the reason the reason is nothing but misdirected love so from this book i will read out little bit of uh, the points and with the story and it will be very interesting to know also what is true with that what is uh, beauty and so what is beauty beauty is the universal attractive principle in this world so for example we are attracted to many things especially ladies when we go to the market side see some saree shore and all and seeing the uh, beautiful colors and with uh, um, um, designs and also the artwork it is done in that stone work is done that so it will attract the ladies that is one side of that thing that attraction so towards the material materialistic point of view so beauty is the universal attract the principle in this world everyone in this world is spontaneously attracted to anything beautiful that is what just now i said about the ladies who go to uh, the show sari show or any dress or anything like that especially in getting the gold the full time when we will be standing there but we cannot select because everything is attractive so now we can't take that much so same same thing with the gents also for them it's a different style uh, that you just ask yourself you will get an answer okay that is good thing no? so everything in this world is spontaneously attracted to anything beautiful but unfortunately all beauty in this world is untrue in the sense that it is painfully fleeting one moment a thing appears beautiful and the next moment that beauty vanishes abhi humko itna acha lagta hai dekhne mein oh yeah yeah wo cheez bahut acha hai bahut sundar lag raha hai chuk kyun le aur 10 minute ke baad hum sunte hain kya aaya ye kitna din tak chalta hai is वो हम भूल ही जाते हैं है ना ऐसे ही है जो ब्यूटी एक बार देखने से सडनली इज पिकअप ओके इज वेरी नाइस एंड आफ्टर दैट इट वैनिश सच ब्यूटी देयर फॉर हैज नो ट्रूथ इन इट इसमें कुछ भरोसा नहीं है या विश्वास नहीं है ट्रूथ तो ही नहीं है उसी में ऐसी चीजें नहीं होना चाहिए ना ब्यूटी इज लाइक दैट जो हम अपने आप लेके अपने आप हैप्पीनेस करना चाहिए ना अपने आप को हैप्पी मिलना चाहिए द क्वेश्चन देयर फॉर बैक्स इट सेल्फ आर ट्रूथ एंड ब्यूटी कंपैटिबल इज इट कंपैटिबल वन मे से दैट द ट्रूथ इज नॉट ऑलवेज ब्यूटीफुल इनडीड इट इज ऑफन अनप्लेसेंट अरे किसी को कोई जो सच्ची सच्ची बात बताते हैं वो मानेंगे नहीं वो सच नहीं है करते हैं ना ऐसे जैसे ट्रूथफुल थिंग वेन वी टेल समबडी दे वोट एग्री दे विल कैरी ऑन दे विल टेल नो 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 इट्स नो दे विल आर्ग्यू आर्ग्यूमेंट विल बी मोर फॉर दैट द ट्रूथ 
is a word it is very difficult to accept it but we have to accept that is always good once you have to accept it so you will be happy the whole, all over the time how can one express truth and beauty at the same time we can effectively assert that the actual truth which is absolute is always beautiful so that's what i said actual truth is always beautiful always it can can be accepted the truth is so beautiful that it attracts everyone including the truth itself truth is so beautiful that many sages saints and devotees have left everything for the sake of truth for example our father of nation mahatma gandhi he dedicated his whole life to experimenting the truth every one of us has the urge to search for truth alone for the absolute truth is not only all beautiful but also all powerful all resourceful all famous all renounced and all knowledgeable unfortunately 99% of the population is chasing after the mirage of untruth in the name of truth koi aake bolega ere ye to acha hai karna hai karna hai kar lo कुछ ऐसे कि लोग आते हैं ना सामान लेके ये ले लो वो ऐसा है वो ऐसी है सब कुछ बोल बोल के ना हमको ऐसा टेम्प्टिंग करते हैं ले लो मगर ट्रूथ हम सोचते नहीं है क्या है कैसे हम ले लेते हैं ऐसी सो ऐसा नहीं है ट्रूथ को हम जानना चाहिए हमको एक्सेप्ट करना चाहिए सो वी हैव टू एक्सेप्ट द ट्रूथ वी आर एक्चुअली अट्रैक्टेड बाय द ब्यूटी ऑफ ट्रूथ but since time immemorial we have been habituated to love of untruth appearing like truth that's what i said somebody comes forever with something and they tell that take it we used to take so unknowingly we are taking it and we are doing the action like that so it's not good find out the truth therefore to the montana means that world depression the person have truth and beauty are incompatible terms then i will tell a story of the modern civilization cage polishing culture is a good story that i will tell once a rich lady brought a good plated cage for the parrot she became so absorbed in polishing the cage daily that she forgot to feed the parrot within the cage and consequently what happened the parrot became very weak the body can be compared to the cage means our body can be compared to the cage and the soul the living principle that's what i want to tell can be compared to a parrot in the cage so living soul is the parrot the cage is our body that's what so if someone takes very good care of the cage by polishing it very carefully and keeping it clean but ignores the needs of the parrot then the whole purpose of keeping the parrot in the cage is defeated it means what if we are taking care of our body same way we have to keep keep or take care of our soul also that is the living principle we should do jesus asked what profit the man if he gains the whole world yet suffers the loss of his eternal soul today society is 
centered on increasing one's necessities by depending more and more on machines and technological gadgets people are making unimaginably elaborate arrangements for bodily emotions and luxuries but spiritually everyone is starving and hence everyone is suffering so the soul they are not taking care of the soul only the material the body they are taking care of just as a car needs petrol or diesel to run and the driver he needs food to eat similarly our material body needs food for sustenance and our soul has to be fed spiritual food the soul needs spirituality spiritual knowledge and spiritual engagement the human body is awarded with special intelligence to inquire about the absolute truth and such an query is essential because if it alone can satisfy the soul therefore one should work only to earn one's sustenance and spend the balanced time energy and resources in understanding the ultimate goal of life and freeing oneself from the cycle of birth and death at this stage some foolish persons may argue what argue what argument they do i am not interested in spirituality i don't care whether the soul exists or not i will imply or i will simply live my own way and enjoy life but the fact is that no one is allowed to live peacefully in the world unless he cultivates spiritual knowledge that is what spirituality is considered as one of the factor in the personality development spirituality that is uh, no even even the uh, psychiatrist and in psychology we learn about that and there are three fold miseries are there so that also i will tell you what are that three miseries one thing is or the first one is misery is caused by one's own mind and body our mind and our body like stress temper and depression everything that then second one is misery is caused by other living entities like our counterpart us or just a uh, uh, in vs competitors so in business competitors will be there and another thing mosquitoes mosquito bite and the third one is germs etc so the present yep uh, now we have the situation now, that corona uh, that also in the second category it comes the third misery is caused by the nature like earthquake then famine sand floods etc so these are all we can overcome if we have to find out the real way of truth the truth is very much important then only we can succeed in our life and last but the least the material world a perverted reflection So why I am reading this because when you are getting a little bit of knowledge about it so automatically you will try to read this book so you will get a lot of knowledge out of it that spiritual power you will get so you can do better and better in your future life In Bhagavad Gita Krishna says at the material world is a perverted reflection of the spiritual world real society friendship and love exist in the spiritual world but the material world is a temporary existence 
similar to a mirage in desert. We are informed of this so that we may not wander like a restless foolish animal in search of water in a desert. No one can obtain water in the desert. This, however, does not mean that water is not available anywhere. Water is available in huge rivers and oceans. Similarly, the material world is a wrong place to search for happiness and such a search only leads to frustration. So we sometimes we used to tell you I am frustrated like anything or he is frustrated like anything. That frustration from where it comes when we are running after the material world. This however do, does not mean that Nobody can find happiness anywhere. Real happiness lies in the spiritual world and can be achieved by loving surrender to God. Thank you very much my dear friends. You read this and very nice of you listening to me very patiently. So tomorrow I will come with another story from Ramayana. It's an interesting to listen to the stories even though you know about Ramayana. Thanks a lot. Have a nice time. Enjoy your day.